If having problems with the alignment of the presser feet on your seven needle journey machine, you can follow this short procedure. In our example, you can see that the presser feet look about the same, except that a, there's a noticeable difference with needle seven here on the left side. So there's a quick procedure to check the adjustment and fix that if needed. Uh, first thing we'll do is we want to remove the front face plate of the sewing head. So to do so on this side here, you can see that there are two screws and all we need to do is loosen them and that's just with a standard Phillips screwdriver that even comes in the kit of your machine. And then come around to the other side and then there's also the same thing here, two standard Phillips screws. So once that's loose, it's a, it's a very simple matter of lifting up the face plate and lift up from the bottom and there's a locking lip across the top that uh, keeps the two together so you want to swivel upwards like this and you can see that lip here see how she's cleared that out and moved it to the side and you can let it hang there but make sure you let it hang gently as you can see that the power cord is the only thing that's holding up on the power cord for the light bank once exposed you can see the, the presser feet which run the entire vertical length of the head for stability and the presser feet are adjustable in height by the set screws that you see here the lower set of them and you can see in our problem presser foot is that uh, it, it moves freely it's loose so maybe due to certain operating conditions or something this may have come loose so we can tighten that up and before we do we want to manually lift the uh, the presser foot to the correct height so visually is okay just do your best and you have an, an additional reference here is that the uh, make sure that this is also at the same ride height comparing the bottom part of the hole to the bottom part of that hole on the uh, correctly adjusted one so we'll lift that just a hair and uh, again uh, visually aligning them is okay there is a more exact factory adjustment but to get that as close visually to the rest um, is often enough to at least get you started again. Once that's done, I'd recommend that you check the tightness of the other seven presser feet. They should move up and down. They're spring-loaded, uh, so as, as, except for the one over the head, just grab them, move them, make sure they're nice and tight. So now that we've uh, done what we need to do, simply put the faceplate back into place. Remember that locking lip on the on top of the plastic cover. So we want to go ahead and angle that upwards so that that lip locks underneath the upper plate. And take your time to do this. So you want to get under there. And then the next thing is carefully slide the head left and right to align the take up levers with the slots. And we're good to go. And then finally we just want to make sure that the holders here are locked around the screws and retighten your screws and we're done adjusting the pressure feet for our seven needle journey machine.